For percentage increase, it is increase divided by the initial value into 100. For the percentage decrease, percent is equal to decrease amount divided by the initial value into 100. To increase a number by a given percent, so just multiply by the factor. What is the factor we are going to multiply? 100 plus rate divided by 100. To decrease a number, to decrease a number by a given percentage, just subtract it, that's all. So multiply the number by the factor 100 minus rate divided by 100. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of uh, basic mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Department of Mathematics, Vidashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence. So in this session, I am going to discuss regarding the problems based on decrease percentage or increase percentage in a percentage and profit. Now let us come to the first concept to find the percentage increase. So how to find the percentage increase of a number? So to find the percentage increase of a number, so what is the formula we are going to use is percentage increase is equal to increase divided by initial value into 100. So this is very important concept. So to find the percentage increase, increase in the percentage, we are going to use percentage increase is equal to increase divided by the initial value into 100. Now let us take an example. Karthik received a scholarship of rupees 5000 in 2011 and rupees 8000 in 2012. Find the percentage increase. What is the percentage increase of the scholarship from 5000 in 2011 to 8000 in 2012? So that is 3000 3, rupees has been changed. What is that uh, 3000 in terms of percentage of increase, increase in the percentage? Okay. Now, First find out the increase amount. What is the increase amount? Increase is equal to rupees 8000 minus rupees 5000 that is equal to rupees 3000. This is the increase. So 5000 and 8000 difference is 3000 rupees is the increase Okay, from 2011 to 2012. Now what to find percentage increase. So therefore, the increase in the percent is equal to percentage increase is equal to increase. What is the increase? 3000 rupees divided by the initial amount. What is the initial amount? Initial amount is 5000 into 100. What is this equal to? These two zeros gets cancelled. 30 into 100, 30 into 100 divided by 50. So 50 twos are, that is nothing but 30 into 2 is 60, right? So that means what is the meaning 60 means? So the increase in the percent is equal to 60 percent. So the increase is equal to 60 percent has been increased. The percentage increase is equal to 60 percent. That is it. See, here Karthik receives a sum of rupees as scholarship as 5000 rupees in 2011 and 8000 in 2012. Then what is the percentage rise? in terms, what is the increase in terms of percentage? Just find out the rise amount. What is the difference amount? 3000. 8000 minus 5000 is 3000. What is the formula? Percentage increase is equal to increase divided by initial value into 100. In increase is nothing but 3000. Initial value is 5000 into 100. So 0, 0 gets cancelled. 30 into 100 divided by 50. 52 is 100. 30 into 2 is equal to 60. So the increase percent is equal to 60 percent has been increased followed. Now suppose if you find the percentage in terms of decrease, decrease percentage of a number. So to find the percentage decrease of a number, to find the percentage decrease of a number we are going to use the formula percentage decrease is equal to decrease divided by initial value into 100. For percentage increase it is increase divided by the initial value into 100. For the percentage decrease percent is equal to decrease amount divided by the initial value into 100. Now let us take a small example. The sales of a company was 35,000 in June and rupees 20,000 in July. Find the percentage decrease. See, in the month of June it is 35,000, whereas in the next month July it is 30,000. That means 5,000 is decreased. Then what is the percentage in terms decrease in terms of percentage? Now let us find out the decrease amount first. 
decrease amount decrease is equal to what is that 35,000 minus 30,000 that is equal to rupees 5,000 is the decrease. The decrease in the amount is equal to 5,000. Now, what is the percent? Therefore, the formula we are going to use is percentage of decrease is equal to decrease. Decrease is 5,000 divided by what is the initial amount here? Initial amount is 35,000. 35,000 into 100. So, these two zeros gets cancelled, one zero, three zeros gets cancelled. Then what is left over is 5 into 100 divided by 35. So, 500 divided by 35. Simplify this. That is it. Okay. So, the this value is nothing but 14.28. 14. So, therefore, the percentage decrease, decrease percent is equal to 14.28. 28 percent. The decrease in the percentage, the percentage decrease is equal to 14.28 percent is decreased. That is it. So, the first one is the percentage of increase and the second one is the percentage of decrease. Now, move on to the next one. To increase a number by a given percentage. Now, how you are going to increase a number by a given percentage? To increase a number by a given percent, so, just multiply by the factor. What is the factor we are going to multiply? 100 plus rate divided by 100. Suppose if you want to simplify, if you want to find the percent increase of a number x, increase in for a number x, say x, then multiply that number x by x into 100 plus rate divided by 100. Now, let us take an example. Increase 30 by 10 percent. Now, increase 30 by 10 percent. Now, so, what to do here? Just this is equal to 30 into multiply the number by the factor. This number 30 is multiplied by the factor 30 plus what is the rate? Rate is equal to 10 divided by 100. That is it. 30 into 100 plus 10 is 110 divided by 100. This 0, 0 gets cancelled. That is nothing but 3 into 11. That is equal to 33. That is it. Okay. So, 33 is the required answer. That is it. Right, see here. So, increase 30 by 10 percent means for this 30 multiply by a factor that is 10, 100 plus rate divided by 100. 30 into 100 plus what is the rate? 10 percent is 10 divided by 100. 110 by 100 is nothing but 3 into 11 is 33. So, we are going to increase 33 to get a 10 percent of 30. Now, move on to the next problem. What is the next problem? Multiply the, yes, to decrease a number. To decrease a number by a given percentage, just subtract it, that is all. So, multiply the number by the factor 100 minus rate divided by 100. Just multiply the number x by the factor 100 minus rate divided by 100 to decrease, whereas for increase it is plus. Now, let us take an example. Decrease 200 by 40 percent. So, what is x 200? What is percentage here? 40 percent. So, therefore, the required answer is for this 200 multiply by 100 minus what is the rate 40 divided by 100. This is 200 into 100 minus 40 is 60 divided by 100. These two zeros gets cancelled. So, that is nothing but 20 into 6. 6 to the 6, 20 into 6 is 120. That is it. So, the required answer is 120. Follow. See here. To increase a number by a given percentage, we are multiplying that number by a factor 100 plus rate by 100. Similarly, to decrease a number by a given percentage, we are going to multiply the value by a factor 100 minus rate divided by 100. For example, decrease 200 by 40 percent means 200 into 100 minus 40 divided by 100. 100 minus 40 is 60 by 100 is nothing but 200 into 6 is 120. Now, move on to the next problem. Now, let us uh, come to the problems based on this. Now, let us discuss all the problems based on the previous formulas. So, these are all for 2 marks, 3 marks and 5 marks. So, application type problem, application problems involving the percentage. Now, application type problem, in an election, in an election, the winning candidate got 4,800 votes, which is 80 percent of the total votes, calculate the total number of votes. So, if the winning person got 4,800 votes, that is nothing but that is nearly equal to, that is exactly equal to 80 percent of the votes. Then 
calculate the total number of ports in that given particular area right very important problem for two or three marks now let us consider the total number of ports bx let the total number of ports bx x be the total number of ports right now what is given 80% of x is equal to 80% of x is equal to 4000 Give, given 80% of x is equal to 4800 what is the meaning 80% of x is nothing but 80 divided by 100 into x is equal to 4800 now cross multiply it and simplify it the 0 and 0 gets cancelled 8x is equal to 4800 into 10 that's it so or x is equal to x is equal to 4800 into 10 divided by 8 simplify this that's it 8 6 are this is 600 so that's equal to 600 into 10 that's equal to 6000 so the number of ports in the in the given area is 6000 ports that's it so 80 percent of 6000 is 4800 that's it so therefore the number of ports x is equal to therefore x is equal to number of ports number of ports is equal to 6000 in that particular area so this is how we are going to solve for two or three marks now move on to the next problem what is the problem here a's income a let us assume a's income is 10 percent more than b b's how much is B's income less than A? A's income is 10% more than B's. How much is B's income less than A? So there are two person A and B. The income of A is 10% more than B. How much B's income is less than A's? Okay. Now we have to find out how much percent of B is B's income is less than the income of A. Right. Now let us write let let the income of B, let B's income is equal to 100. Let us assume the income of B is 100. Then A's income is 10 percent more than B. So therefore, A's income, income is equal to 10 percent more than B, 10 percent more than B, right. That is equal to 10 percent more than B means 10 plus 100 that is equal to 110 because the, the income of B is 100, A's income is 10 percent more than 100 means 10 percent of 100 is 10 plus 100 is 110. Okay. Now just use the formula percentage decrease. Now percentage of decrease, now just use the formula percentage decrease is equal to decrease divided by initial value into 100. Decrease divided by initial value into 100. Now what is the decrease? Decrease is 10. 10 divided by initial value is 110 into 100. What is this equal to? That is nothing but 0 and 0 gets cancelled. 100 divided by 11. 100 divided by 11. That is it. Simplify this. So, if you divide 100 by 11, you will get 9.09, 9.09%. So, therefore, the percentage of decrease is equal to 9.90, 9.09 is the required answer. That is it. Hope you followed. Okay. Now, move on to the next problem. What is the problem here? The original price of a shirt was, the original price of a shirt was rupees 700. It was decreased by rupees 50. What is the original cost? 700. So it is decreased by 50. Then what is the percentage decrease of the price of the shirt? So original price of the shirt was 700 rupees. It was decreased by rupees 50. Then it becomes 650. What is the percentage decrease in the price of the shirt? We have to determine. Right. Now what is the initial value? Initial value is equal to Initial value is 700 rupees. How much you are going to decrease? Decrease. Decrease by rupees 50. 
Now, percentage of decrease is equal to decrease divided by initial value into 100. Now, what is the decrease? Decrease is 50. Initial value is 700 into 100. What is this equal to? This gets cancelled 50 divided by 7. What is this equal to? So, 7 7s are 49 means that means 7 point something you will get exactly this is equal to 7.14 percent. So, therefore, the decrease in the percent is equal to 7.14 percent. 7.14 percent is the decrease. Decrease is equal to 7.14 percent. Hope you follow. Just find out the initial value is 700. They are going to decrease by 500. What is to find is the percentage of decrease. Percentage of decrease is nothing but decrease divided by the initial value. What is decrease? 50 divided by the initial value is 700. 50 divided by 700 into 100. That is 500 0, 0 gets cancelled. 50 into 1 is 50 by 7. That is equal to 7.14. That is it. Now, move on to the next problem. What is the problem here? Sanjana has a monthly salary of rupees 20,000. Sanjana has a monthly salary of rupees 20,000. She spends rupees 4,000 per month on cosmetics. For cosmetics, out of 20,000, she is going to spend 4,000 rupees. She is going to spend for cosmetics. What percent of the monthly salary does she spend for cosmetics? So, what is the percentage of her monthly salary? she spent on cosmetics. Very simple problem, right? Now, very simple. Amount spent divided by the total amount into 100. That is it. So, the required answer is equal to amount spent. How much is going to spend? She will spend amount spent divided by total amount into 100. That is it. Amount she is going to spend is 4000 rupees out of 20,000 rupees into 100. What is this equal to? Two zeros gets cancelled. 4000 divided by 200. So, again, two zeros gets cancelled. 40 by 2 is equal to 20. 20% 20 she is going to spend, right? That is it, okay? So, Sanjana is going to spend, she is going to spend how much? 20 percent of his salary she is going to spend for the cosmetics. That is it, very simple. So, out of 20,000 rupees, Sanjana spends 4,000 per month for cosmetics, means then the percentage of her uh, monthly percent salary, percentage of her monthly salary on his cosmetics is how much spent divided by the total number, total amount into 100. 4000 by 20000 into 100 is 40000 divided by 200 that is 40 by 2 is nothing but 20% of our salary she is going to spend for uh, cosmetics that's it this is how we are going to calculate the percentage of uh, increase as well as the decrease so these are few problems based on increase and decrease percentage hope you followed so that's all regarding today's session let us meet with a different concept in the next session thank you thank you very much